mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Africans have apologized for slavery. Africans have apologized for slavery. I thought we was African. I thought we was all African. Africans have what? Africans have apologized for slavery. Read the dates on the article. June 17, 2014. In 2014, these African countries apologized for selling niggas into slavery. And that's who you are, brother. You, you want to walk around and you don't want to be black. Being black is too hard. Being black is, is, a, is a strain on your self-esteem. You'd rather be African because being African is prestigious. Egypt and the hieroglyphs and the Amoraic for the Ethiopians when the Africans are going into slavery when Christ comes back. And there's nothing you can do to save them because they put an African in the White House and he ain't do a goddamn thing for your people. You up here, I don't know. I don't know. They never told us, but you know we African. You hate yourself and you hate your people talking about we criminals. The white man is the biggest criminal on the earth. These Africans are the biggest. Nigerians are known for scamming. Known for scamming. Known for it. They're, they're arresting a whole Asian community that was ripping off people with their bank cards and credit cards in Virginia. You want to talk about black people criminals? Ain't nobody a criminals like you damn heathens, man. The biggest illegal immigrant group in America is Asians. Why are they deporting the Latinos? But you ain't want to talk about that. You want to identify with some filthy African. When Christ come back, they're going into slavery. That's right. Three. Five years ago. Right. If we're going to see some work ethic now. You, you saying how we don't have the work ethic as other people that come here. We, I bet you're tired after 400 years of slavery. I bet you're going to be tired. Let the Chinese man get 400 years of slavery. See if he don't commit suicide. See if he don't put poison in that damn sake and commit suicide. Let the Ethiopians do it. Forget about the Arabs. The Arabs committing suicide right now and they free. And they free people. You walk around and buy into the propaganda that black people are lazy and shiftless. How the hell we can be lazy and we built the greatest country in the face of the earth? How the hell we can be lazy and we in your sports arenas doing amazing feats day in, day out? Even till this day, how we can be lazy and we fighting in your wars? All your wars, all your inventions is us. How could we be lazy? You buying into propaganda because you hate yourself. You hate yourself, man. And I feel sorry for you, brother. I feel sorry for you. You are, you probably walk around so depressed every day that you black. When I'm trying to tell you, you're the real Jews. You're the special people on the earth. The white man ain't never been a Jew. The Jews are black people. Three, five years ago, I stood in a slave castle on Senegal's Goray Island at the infamous door of no return. Go ahead. Our guide told us, uh, our guide told us that once Africans walked through this doorway. Right, they're saying Africans walked through this doorway. But we gonna see, we already proved that the, Af the people who they sold into slavery was not Africans. They were the Negroes. They were the descendants of the Jews that fled Jerusalem and hid amongst black, dark-skinned people in Africa. Skip me down right here. Go ahead. Five years ago this week, just months after President Barack Obama took office, the Senate, the Senate unanimously passed a resolution apologizing for slavery. Go ahead. The Senate acknowledged the fundamental injustice, cruelty, brutality, and inhumanity of slavery 
and apologize to African Americans on behalf of the United States for the wrongs committed against them and their ancestors who suffered under slavery. Right? The, the, the Senate, they issued an apology soon as Barack Obama got in office. But look what happened right next. Keep reading. The House of Representatives had passed a similar measure the previous year, but Congress could not resolve the two apologies Salaki, because of differing views on how the resolution would be used in any discussion of reparations. The House of Representatives, they didn't sign on to it because they said an apology would mean the American government was guilty of a crime and would have to pay reparations to black people. So they did not agree to apologize because they would lose money. Now you see why in the Bible it is written, they are going to go into slavery. Because he's an animal. He don't even want to pay for the wrong he has done. So when Christ come back, you white people are going into slavery. And in that day, you ain't going to be able to say, well, listen, I'm sorry, you had enough time. You enjoy America. You went to the moon. You give the mouse his own land. This, listen, the mouse got land before us. Imagine that. Mickey Mouse got land before us with a 40 acres and a mule. You give a damn cartoon character Disneyland before you give black people their land. When Christ come back, you're going into slavery. Your back's going to be whipped. Your children going to be sold for hundreds of years. And there ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. You know why? Because you're going to reap what you sow. It's justice. It's not violence. It's justice. We built your country. We want equality. You going to build ours. We built your kingdom. You are going to build ours. You better go get a gym membership and get strong. You better go run that, them, them 5Ks, 10Ks, 15Ks. Listen, Planet Fitness got an offer now, $10 off. Go get fit. Go start picking thorns because you're going to be picking cotton. You better get that shoe game right because you're going to be shining shoes. Slavery is coming to you. Read on. The Senate version was insistent that an apology would not endorse any future claims. The House could not agree. So now, all this talk about reparations, the reason they don't give black people any sort of reparations, because America doesn't want to pay us for what they did. Meanwhile, America sends billions of dollars to the state of Israel, and America didn't put them in ovens. America didn't take their people. America wasn't part of the Holocaust. Why is America giving Israel billions of dollars? Huh? Why is it that they get free money? Huh? They say we wealthy queens and kings and we live on welfare and we a drain on the economy. Tel Aviv is a drain on the economy. Benjamin Netanyahu is a drain on America's economy. To the tune of billions of dollars. You white people stealing money, calling yourself Jewish, and you ain't no goddamn Jew. Everywhere we go, there's a pyramid. You know why? Because we built the pyramids in Egypt. Where the hell is your pyramids? You up in Scotland ain't no pyramids. You up in Italy ain't no pyramids. Where's your pyramids that you built if you're the goddamn Jew? Huh? You ain't no Jew. You're Jewish. You're a culture bandit and a vulture. And when the black nigga king Christ come back, who is the real Jew, you're going into slavery. Now go tell that to them fools up there and tell them I'm anti-Semitic. Go tell them I'm anti-Semitic because you ain't the real Jew. We are. Turn the page, brother. Please, read on. In other words, the United States has never given an unconditional apology. Say it again. The United States has never. As what? Has never. As what? Has never given an unconditional apology for slavery. America has never apologized for slavery. Never apologized. But you're sympathetic with the state of Israel. You're sympathetic with the Ukrainians. And them devils never built your country. We built a country and fought in your wars. And you refuse to apologize to us. Christ going to bathe the streets of America in your blood. For your pride. For your pride. You white people should get on your knees, every black person you see, and say sorry. If you're good, but none of you are good. You're a bunch of devils. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. For a nation that can't even agree on an apology, the recent conversations around reparations could be seen as little more than an exercise in order.
word to it. Meaning it's all bullish. They're just talking. They ain't apologizing. Read from here. As it turns out, man was not a singular event. Many West African nations and tribes have issued apologies for their roles in the transatlantic slave trade to black Americans. Say it again. Many West, Af like it. Many West African nations and tribes have issued apologies for their roles in the transatlantic slave trade to black Americans. Notice the article didn't say West African nations and tribes issued apologies to Africans they sold. It said they issued apologies to black Americans because we are not Africans. The Africans sold, they rounded us up, sold us to the white man. The Jewish man financed the whole slave trade, financed the entire thing. We ain't Africans. We the real Jews and they know it. Putin just came out and talked about all the Russian icons were black. But he tried to wake you up. He tried to let you know something. We the only people that don't know who we are. Everybody else know who they are. White people know whether they're from Russian, Poland, Wales, everybody else. Chinese know where they're from. Japanese know where they're from. Africans know where they're from. Ethiopians know where they're from. Negro, where you from? Latino, where you from? Native Indian, where you from? I'm going to tell you where you're from. Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Go ahead. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Read on. Which is above is free. Which is above is what? Free. Is what? Free. Jerusalem is free. Go ahead. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the mother of what? Us all. Which is the mother of what? Us all. We from Jerusalem. Blacks, Hispanics, and native people, we from Israel, we the real Israelites. We ain't from Africa. We not African, and we'll never be African. Let me tell you something. Every black, Hispanic, and native person in the ghetto, in the barrio, on the reservation, them kids on the border, them kids in Haiti, them kids in Dominica, they your future slave masters, white man. They your future slave masters, African. They your future slave masters, East Indian. You better get hit. If you don't bow down to, to us today, when Christ come back, he gonna cut your head. Right. Look at that priest, the powerful priest of Catholic. Yeah, Babylon is falling